Our strengths can either be motivated by the pain or it can be motivated by the healing. And I think for people, when you're talking about the X factor, when you're talking about people stepping into their greatness, their success, you know, whatever you want to call it, this idea, right? This like this, the space between having the pain be the thing that motivates, right? Having the darkness be the thing that motivates versus having your healing be the thing that actually gets you the same outcome, if not better. But again, I think to your point, John, there can be a lot of fear that if I go there, wherever there might be, I'm going to lose the X factor. X factor. I'm going to lose you know, the gift that I know is, is right here next to me. There's another side of the coin that we have to discuss because some people listening might really look fondly on their childhood and say, I wasn't abused, I had loving parents, I had great communication, and this wound comparison, as you call it, will often keep us from exploring as well because we'll just say, oh, well, I mean, it certainly wasn't as bad as Johnny or AJ, so why do I need to explore it? Yeah. And there's reality to that. Not everybody has this awful, abusive, negligent childhood. And I think why I use the language wounds instead of being so focused on trauma is like a lot of people are like, I don't have trauma. You know, that, that's not something that I identify with, right? Wounds are different. Pain is different. And we don't have to have the worst story in the room. In fact, when we do that wound comparison, right, like that is one of the things that becomes a distraction away from us acknowledging and addressing the story. And so I talk about five wounds in the book, which are about the experience of not feeling worthy, the experience of not belonging, the experience of not feeling like a priority and the important people uh, in our lives, uh, not feeling safe and not having a sense of trust. And I think, you know, when I was writing the book, I was like, I'm pretty sure that every single one of us brushes up against a worthiness wound at some point in our lives, right? I think like wounds are a human experience. And of course, wounds can happen at different points in our lives. Not everything has to be our childhood or our teenage years. But I love to look at and really understand through the lens of our family of origin, right? Through the lens of our family system, this place where our first education is given to us, where we are the observer and the experiencer of all of the things that are happening around us. And if any of us have the takeaway that I was not good enough or valued enough, or I was only good enough if I was performing or pleasing or the comic relief or, 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 right? It's like, those are the things Things that we have to address. It does not always have to be the big stuff. Okay? And that, again, is like one of the things that just moves us away from acknowledging the pain 